Hello everyone, Miss Carrie here with a scrapbook page that I created for the Copa Cut Files 20 Days of Christmas. Today's theme is foliage or leaves, so I have decided to take a little break from my holiday pages and share a autumn layout with you. For today's design, I will be using two Copa Cut Files. The largest one is a fall stacked frame, and I'm going to pair it with these images that I cut out from the Build and Autumn Leaves collection. I've also gathered an assortment of fall items that I want to use on this page in pinks, purples, and yellows. These are going to go well with the colors in the photo today. I'll add links to the two cut files and the supplies I used in the description below. I'm going to start with the background. I've selected a floral pattern for this page, but I want to soften the edges a bit. I've mixed some white gesso and a little bit of pigment onto a silicone mat, and I'm using a dry brush to add a little bit of this color along the edges. Now this is going to be very subtle when it dries, but it will create a nice frame around the edges of the layout. You could also use a white paint if you had it. I just like using the gesso, which prevents the warping that can sometimes occur when you add water onto your paper products. Now this is gonna dry pretty quickly so that I can keep working on my layout. In the center of this page, I'm going to be laying down that frame, and I've added a piece of vellum. The vellum is translucent enough to allow the pattern to show through, but it's going to soften it a bit so that the focus remains on the photo. I kept the frame around that photo simple with a little bit of stitching. This was done with a sewing machine, I just haphazardly stitched some lines around all of the sides. This is a really easy way to create a frame around a photo without using paper. All of the insets that I'm placing in the frame were cut with my Cricut. I use the contour feature in Cricut Design Space to cut these to fit. Now, if you're not sure how contour works, I do have quite a few five minute Cricut class videos here on my channel and one of those does talk about contour. Since these were contour cuts, I did have to add some foam tape behind a few of those frame pieces so that I could give these dimension. The sticky side of the tape is facing up and I'm laying their contour cuts over them. The leaves were cut from one of the Copa cut files. Some of these items have been sanded, like the frame, to create some distressing. Other pieces have stitching on them. In a previous video, I shared how I like adding stitching to leaves. I like how the stitching gives a little bit of texture, dimension, and structure to these leaf images. The florals that I'm adding are fussy cut from the printed sheets that came with the kit. If you're not a fan of fussy cutting, you could definitely find some flowers or dyes or stickers from your collection. If you are going to fussy cut them out, a sharp pair of scissors works best when you're cutting out the images. These scissors here are new to my craft space and I just love them for fussy cutting. I like to leave a white edge around the images so that I don't have to cut out all those little tiny details of stems and leaves, and it actually looks a little bit more like a die cut or a sticker when it has the white edge. Now, at this point, I realized that I had almost completely covered up that pumpkin. And to be honest, I really wasn't sure if it was going to fit with the design. I love that frame and all the leaves that are attached to the frame, but that pumpkin was throwing me off. So I decided at this point, you know what? I'm just going to cover it. Once the pumpkin was removed, that meant there was only one spot on the page where I had added some copper paper. So I decided to remove the acorns from the frame and I moved them to other areas of the page. 
So I've gone ahead and finished adding all the florals to the page. And I want to bring in some more copper elements. I found these butterflies with some copper foiling that I'm going to add. In the photo, she has some blue and yellow flowers. So I want to make sure I have those colors on the page, along with the pink that she's wearing in the photo. I'm also going to use these butterflies to help frame that photo even more. Now I'm going to focus on the title and add a few other elements. I'm going to add the word lovely with a foam sticker in a pink color. And below it, I'm going to add the word together, which is a pink sticker with a copper lettering. I don't want this title to feel like it's just floating out there. So I'm going to layer a few leaves underneath the words. And this is just going to peek out behind the photo. As I was finishing up the title, I found another little butterfly sticker on the foam sticker sheet and I decided to bring it onto the page. This helps form a nice visual triangle with those other butterfly images that I added. I kept the embellishments rather simple since I had some really big clusters of florals on there. Now, as I was adding these, I struggled a bit with that yellow leaf in the corner. With three clusters on the design, it almost felt out of place. I decided to add some leaves to it to make it almost appear like it was part of the cluster. And this really helped to frame that title even more and created a nice layer of foliage there in the corner. The two Copa cut files I used are perfect for your fall or garden pages. I chose to use them to create a page to record some engagement photos. And I love how this layout turned out. I did end up covering the pumpkin in that cut file design and I rearranged a few elements to fit my page, but this allowed me to create some lovely floral clusters that went really well with the photo. If you enjoy pinning photos to inspiration boards, I have added still shots to my website for you to use. Don't forget that Copa cut files will be releasing new files during their 20 days of December, and you can enjoy a savings on some of the files in their shop. In the description below, I've added a link to the files I used today, along with the list of supplies and a link to that Copa Cut file shop. I hope that today's project inspired you to create something new. If you have any questions about this project or the supplies I used, feel free to leave me a comment. I hope you have a wonderful week and I can't wait to see what you create.